क्वेश्चन इज इन स्क्वायर लॉ मॉड्यूलेटर दैट इज शोन इन फिगर द सिग्नल इज अप्लाइड टू द नॉन लीनियर डिवाइस इज रिलेटिवली वीक सच दैट इट कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय अ स्क्वायर लॉ दैट इज v2 फंक्शन ऑफ t इक्वल्स टू a1 v1 t प्लस a2 v1 स्क्वायर फंक्शन ऑफ t वेयर a1 एंड a2 आर कांस्टेंट्स हियर v1 t इज द इनपुट वोल्टेज डिफाइंड बाय ac cos 2 pi fc t plus m t where mt is the message signal and ac cos 2 pi fc t is the carrier wave and here we have to determine the output voltage v to t and find the amplitude sensitivity of this am signal now according to the problem there is a square law modulator having a square law characteristic v to t equals to a1 v1 plus a2 v1 square in place of v1 t we can write ac cos 2 pi fc t plus m function of t and we get v2 function of t equals to a1 within bracket ac cos 2 pi fc t plus mt plus a2 into ac cos 2 pi fc t plus mt whole square now open the bracket after solving we get a1 ac cos 2 pi fct plus a1 mt plus a2 ac square cos square 2 pi fct plus a2 m square t plus 2 a2 ac cos 2 pi fct into mt here we use a plus b whole square formula now combining first and fourth term and we get v2 equals to a1 ac within bracket 1 plus 2 a2 upon a1 into mt Into cos 2 pi fct, and remaining terms are a1 into mt plus a2 m square t plus a2 ac square cos square 2 pi fct. And here the first term correspond to the desired AM signal, having amplitude sensitivity k a equals to 2 a2 upon a1. And the remaining terms. are unwanted terms and that can be removed by filtering using tuned filter having midband frequency fc and bandwidth equals to 2w this tuned circuit must satisfy the condition of carrier frequency is greater than 3w and this is explained using amplitude spectrum here the first term correspond to am signal and this is shifted to plus minus fc including carrier as impulse and a bandwidth of 2w second term is a1 mt and its spectrum is at f equals to 0 having bandwidth equals to w third term is a2 into m square t it is also at origin having bandwidth of 2w and next is a2 ac square cos square 2 pi fct so in place of cos square 2 pi fct we can write 1 plus cos 4 pi fct upon 2 so accordingly we have a dc term that is a2 ac square upon 2 and this is removed using filtering and the last term is a2 ac square upon 2 cos 4 pi fct and it is centered at plus minus 2 fc having a bandwidth of 2w and our requirement is to obtain a desired am signal represented by the first term the remaining terms can be removed using tuned filter having cut off frequency is greater than 3w next question is consider a square law detector using a non linear device whose transfer characteristic is defined by v2 function of t equals to a1 v1 plus a2 v1 square where a1 and a2 are the constants v1 is the input and v2 is the output the input consists of am wave that is v1 function of t equals to ac within bracket 1 plus ka mt cos 2 pi fct and we have to determine first part output v to t and second is find the conditions for which the message signal mt may be recovered from v to t 
So, here according to the question, we have a square law detector having a characteristic of V2 P equals to A1 V1 plus A2 V1 square. Now, in place of V1, we can write AC within bracket 1 plus K M T cos 2 pi F C T and solve using a formula of A plus B whole square in the second term. So, after arrangement, we get first term that is A1 into AC within bracket 1 plus K M T cos 2 pi F C T plus second term is A2 AC square upon 2 within bracket 1 plus K A square M square T plus 2 K M T into cos 4 pi F C T and the third term is A2 AC square upon 2 within bracket 1 plus K square M square T plus 2 K A M T. So, in this way we can determine the output V2 T. Now we move to the second part. Here we have to determine the condition for which the masses signal MT may be recovered from output V to T. For this, we take a common in second and third term and we get V to T equals to A1 AC within bracket 1 plus K M T cos 2 pi F C T plus 1 upon 2 A2 AC square within bracket. 1 plus 2 k a m t plus k a square m square t into 1 plus cos 4 pi f c t. Now, in order to detect modulating signal m t, we use a second term. Second term is a square term and the detection is called square law detection. In the second term, k a into m t is the desired term for the detection of modulating signal m t. And this can be extract using low pass filter. After passing through low pass filter, we get A2 AC square KA into MT. Here, 2 is cancelled. Now, we take a ratio of wanted upon distortion terms. Here, the wanted term is A2 AC square KA into MT. And the distortion is remaining term that is A2 AC square KA square M square T upon 2. And after calculating, we have a ratio that is 2 upon k a into m t. Here, k a into m t is modulation index mu that is obtained after taking a mod of k a m t that is k a into a m. A m is the magnitude of modulating signal m t that is the amplitude. Now, in order to detect modulating signal m t, this ratio must be large because this is ratio of wanted upon distortion and in order to detect modulating signal empty that is wanted term, this ratio must be large. For this mod of Ka empty that is Ka into Am should be less. That is percentage modulation mu is small as compared to unity. Next question is. Figure shows the circuit diagram of a balanced modulator. The input applied to the top AM modulator is MT, whereas that applied to the lower AM modulator is minus M function of T. These two modulators have the same amplitude sensitivity. Find the output of the balanced modulator ST that consists of double sideband suppressed carrier modulated signal. So, according to the question, the circuit diagram of balanced modulator is shown in figure. Here, the top AM modulator having MT as the input and bottom AM modulator has minus MT as input. Here, both AM modulator have the same amplitude sensitivity and Having the same carrier signal that is AC cos 2 pi FCT that is generated by an oscillator. The output of top AM modulator is S1T and bottom AM modulator is S2T. Now, according to the question, we have to determine the output of the balanced modulator and check whether it is double sided suppressed carrier modulated signal. Now, the Output of top EM modulator is S1T that is equals to AC within bracket 1 plus KAMT into cos 2 pi FCT. 
this output S1T corresponding to the input modulating signal MT. Similarly, the bottom AM modulator having output S2T, it is equals to AC within bracket 1 minus KAMT into cos 2 pi FCT. This output is corresponding to the input signal of minus M function of T. Now, as per given block diagram, the output ST is equals to S1T minus S2T. So, after putting the values of S1 and S2, we get 2 Ka AC MT cos 2 pi FCT. And this is similar to double sideband suppressed carrier wave. That is AC into MT cos 2 pi FCT. That is a product of carrier and message signal.